Hello everyone, my name is ADC Auditor. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a little tutorial video on how to draw the Dragon Ball characters' faces. And um, yeah, this question was um, put to me by one of you guys on my previous video, how to draw Dragon Ball characters. And uh, yeah, my style of drawing and my style of doing these tutorial videos is a more practical approach. I gotta say that before I begin, because the drawings they usually look a little bit messy but it's where uh, it's the inking is where I usually refine my details and things like that uh, you'll find on YouTube uh, tutorials which will give you a I don't know let's uh, use an example here draw a square and when you've done this square divide this square by this amount measure this distance this should be two centimeters by three centimeters the middle point here the middle point here the nose will be there the mouth will be there the eye will be there Blah, 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 blah. Not a practical approach to drawing. This is not what people are doing. When people pick up a pencil and have a bit of paper, they don't want to do this. What they want to do is they want to get up and they start doing circles and lines and they do this. They want to get right into it and get the character done. There is no reason you need to be doing this, guys. It's great as a serious learning curve. If you really want to learn the absolute accurate way, it's, it's, it's fine, but it's not practical. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you a practical approach to it on how to do it. So let's get on with it because this is long winded. So I'm going to be showing you the way I draw. And uh, this may not necessarily be the correct way. This is the way that I feel most comfortable with. Uh, everyone will eventually develop their own way of doing uh, these things. And that's perfectly fine. So yeah. Uh, I always start with a circle. Now the question was how do I... Well this it was a long question but part of the question was... Uh, how do I know where to put the lines? Now, I don't, is the truth. I don't know where I'm going to put the lines. You make an educated guess. You have a um, an image next to you or whatever, or a reference in your mind. So you make an educated guess on where the lines should be. So I always start with the middle, because uh, it gives me a good foundation to have something on the paper. So we got one line down the center, and then we'll do another line about midway, just to leave a little crossover here. Okay, now I know it looks a little bit off on the angle. That is because I'm set at a bit of an angle, so it's quite hard for me to actually <laughs> do this. But yeah, so um, from here, I like to just sort of say, right, this bit and this bit are our side areas, and obviously this bit is our chin, and here is going to be where our hairline will be, so we can always start by getting a bit of the hairline in if you want to, so I'm just going to guess this one goes over here, and it comes slightly off center. And then the other one just comes down here and goes to there. It gives us a good foundation to have some stuff on the paper before we start. And this doesn't have to be neat, doesn't have to be perfect. But you just want to get some things down just so you have a space to work with and an area to go by. Okay, so we've got a couple of things there. That's that, that, that'll do for now. That will help us out. So now we want to start figuring out where some of the key points will go. Some of the key places that will help us measure the, mess of, uh, the rest of the face, the rest of the body, etc. So a good place, you're going to have to start with the eyebrows, which I know some people find quite difficult um, on separating them. So let's broaden up where our center line is. Our center line is probably about here. It may be a little off uh, one way or the other, but you know what? It's fine. We'll guess it's there. And at the end of this, we can sort of assess it and say, well, is it center or is it not? Now, um, I'm using a reference from Dragon Ball Super. Uh, the Dragon Ball Super eyes are a little bit weird. Uh, they tend to lack the creases in the middle. Uh, the eyes tend to be a little bit further apart. So this is going to be a bit fun, actually. I'm not you know the most experienced with drawing Dragon Ball Super. I've spent my life drawing Dragon Ball Z. So uh, let's let's give it a go and we'll see what we can get. So let's make an educated guess on how far we want the eyebrows apart. So we sort of want them to have a little bit of a gap here and we'll make two little points right there. So these two little points look pretty good for a start. We'll go back to this line now that we've broadened it and we can sort of use it to make that little um, that little crease in the middle of the eye. So that works out well. Now I like to always add a bit of a snarl, a bit of a um, crease above the nose here, just there. I don't really have it in any of my references and as you'll see here, I'll show you my reference. Uh, it's not got the, um, yeah, it, it's not got any of those things, but we're going to just build upon that. Okay, so I'll put my reference back to the side and uh, yeah, let's get on with this. So um, let's again make a never guess on where the um, ears are going to go because the ears will fall into a nice, they'll play a nice part in the um, the eyes. So the ears should be a little bit below this midline for me. So, and it's usually the case every time I draw, they're usually a little bit below the midline. So I'll put one ear here and we'll sort of make it go up into a little bit of a distance there. So we can go as far as we want with this one. It doesn't matter too much. We just want to know where they are. 
So we got that, and then we can start working on the cheeks as well. So we know that this cheek should come up here. And what I find with the cheeks is you will probably need to refine them later on. And that's fine. It, 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 this is the point of the pencil sketch is that you will refine it later on. So we'll leave that like that. And we'll come down to about, let's say, just above halfway between uh, this point and this point. So about here is where we'll begin our, our sort of arch curve inwards towards the base of the chin. And we'll do the same over here so we know our point is just about there and we can sort of go off here. Now I tend to struggle with this side right here. Uh, I usually add a bit of a curve as you just saw there. Um, I need to keep reminding myself the way to do that. I don't know why I do it, it's just an instinct of my hand the way it goes. Here it's more of a curve and here it does the same thing but it's just yeah, you need to just get out of that. Um, let's draw a bit of the neck just so we know where this is going to be. So the neck maybe just drops just a little bit below this bit of the chin and this bit down here. So we're getting a good base here. Let's um, add some more features in because it does help to have a little bit more of the neck done before we begin on the face as well. It really does help, guys. So let's get some of that done. Um, why is my... S no, never mind. Okay, right. So uh, let's add this one here and we've got this one here. So now we've got a bit of a good foundation going on. Uh, so we can move on to, let's say, the nose because the nose is a nice key feature. So we go to the bottom of the ears and the nose usually falls in line with that. So about there is where we'll do it. We go a little bit off center because the nose will never have the center line down the middle. That is usually where the reflection, uh, it's usually where the curve, sorry, is. The edge will usually be a little bit off. So you'll never ever find the nose will be in the center of the, um, the point, the line here. So we'll go there. We'll come down a little bit. How low should we go with this? Uh, let's say the base of the nose, about, about there maybe. So we'll come to here. We leave a little bit of room just to apply the um, the undershadow of the nose. And yeah, so we're sort of getting somewhere. We've got the nose in there. Looks pretty cool, right? Uh, the mouth. Now, I don't like the, 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 the smile of Goku here. It's not really for me. So I'm just going to turn his smile into a bit of a frown because I just prefer it. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's um, add some of this, I don't know what this is, the chin shadow line in there. All right, so that's that's pretty good. We've got a bit of a, a thing going on here. Um, a nice thing to help us out with would be the lines under the eyes. And again, they fall in line with everything else. Uh, we look where that one is. That one's about just past this point. So we're going to go just past it here. And we got ourselves... The underneath of the eyes now it does look a bit crooked to you guys i'm sorry about that I, I am sat a bit of an angle actually straight for me would be about here so you can see i am a little bit like this drawing so I, it, it's a bit meh at the moment but yeah so right then what should we do now let's uh, start figuring out where we're going to put the eyes so let's do the hair we can go back to this and we work that out just by figuring out how high it is relative to this strand of hair that we put down before because this strand of hair falls in line with the top of this bit of the eyebrow so we can work it out. We know that it's going to be around here. The next one, we know will go about there. And you don't need to start on specific points. As you're seeing here, which is what I'm trying to get across, is you don't need to start and do things in a real technical way. You can just let things happen as they happen. You don't need the one guide. There is no one guide to drawing. There is no one answer to doing it. There's no one thing that's going to make you a better artist. Literally practice and finding what works for you and what works for me is literally just doing it You just do this and you see what happens and whatever comes out of it comes out of it It might be good. It might be bad. You don't know and if not every drawing is gonna be good Some drawings are gonna suck some drawings are gonna be great whatever So yeah, we've we've got a bit of a Goku going on here, right, but we can do better we can do we can do more here So let's um now we know sort of where the top of the ears are gonna be about here, we can we can work on that. Let's put that around there. And that goes there, and then this one over here. We know it should be about equal distance apart, so about there, and we can curve off in this direction over here. So that's looking good, right? We, we we're sort of getting there. I'm sorry this video is dragging out a little bit, but I just want to give you the best um, tutorial I can give you. I'm not a teacher. And it's not the easiest thing in the world for me to do, but I'll do my best.
So uh, the ears, I always do the ears the same way every single time. I've always done this way and this the way I'll always do them really. Uh, I ignore the reference when I'm doing the ears. Because that's just me. <laughs> Alright, so now on to the key part. The one that everyone's been waiting for, the eyes. How do we do the eyes? Here we go. So, I always like to guess that the top of the eyebrow will go and meet the, um, the top of the ear. So I give a nice natural curve and that's where it will go. So now I know that's where the eyebrow is going to go. Same with this one. I work out where this is and I work out where the top of that is. And there you go. Now, I, you can change the curve relative to the image that you're using. For example, if I want to give him a shock expression, I might... Excuse me, guys. If I wanted to give him a shock expression, I might raise the eyebrows up here. But, yeah, you just sort of do it relative to the reference or the expression you're trying to give him. Okay. So, figuring out the lower part of the eyebrow. Again, it's measurements. Where does it line up here? I remember this uh, method of drawing that I'm using right here only really works if you have a reference, obviously. Um, if you're drawing freehand or if you want to draw something um, from your own mind, then you need to have the image in mind, what you want to do, and again, take reference from the image that you have in mind. Whether it be a specific image that already exists or something you're creating, uh, you have that in mind and you work from that. So, um... Let's figure out where the eyes are going to go. About there. And over here. Work out the distance between the eye and the, um, the cheek. And there you have it. We're sort of... Sort of almost done here. So his head looks a little wide. Yay. And I did my own mistake here of starting with this um, eye. I should really start with the left one. I said this in my last video. Uh, start with the left eye before you go on to the right one. But, um, yeah, I broke my own rule and there you go. Again, the super reference doesn't have these creases in the eye. It really lacks a lot of definition to the face, uh, the super reference. I, I don't know why. But anyway, right guys, so now that we've done this, uh, this is where we get onto the part of the video that I was trying to go on to uh, before. The drawing doesn't look great. And it's not supposed to look great. This is the sketch phase. This is the phase where you make the messy mistakes. And you do the things that don't look right. Now you want to refine it. Now you want to make it look good. This is where you really refine all the details. But you keep the base you've got here. You work with this base. So now I might work with the eyes first. Because I know that, hey, this is how I want the eyes to look. The eyes look good. So I'm going to work with the eyes. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to sort of be careful not to ruin them, but I want to just define these eyes and put them in place. And let's get them done. Okay. Now I'm sort of going to ignore the line here because it's usually, um, it blends a white color into the uh, skin. So we'll leave that line blank. We can fill it in if we want to, but you guys can see uh, it's there. With the pencil the eyes are very tricky to do i i won't lie to you guys it's it's not the easiest thing in the world to do just because they're circles the actual pupils i mean but yeah so let's um bring that over there Come up here okay so what i'm gonna do now guys i'm gonna do a quick time skip and just um start sketching uh start inking and um i'll see you guys at the end of the video and uh I hope this helps you out, okay? Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, so um, yeah, here you go, um, the tutorial is finished, uh, this, yeah, again, it, it's not the best drawing, but this is the basis of how you draw Goku, uh, this is the foundations of it and the practical approach to it, uh, you can refine this to your liking and, and tidy it up as best you want, I was using a very cheap um, marker paper, it's nothing special, guys, honestly, this is not something you need to invest too much time in doing, just get some of the basics done, 
get some stuff on the paper and I promise you, you will be able to draw these characters in no time. Just keep going with it, work out what works best for you, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did learn something today, please give me a thumbs up, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, please give me everything that you own. No, honestly, if you if you did like it, um, it would be nice to have a like. Uh, if you didn't like it, give me a dislike, and if you just want to recommend or request, sorry, not recommend, uh, request any sort of uh, tutorial for the future, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the description below and I will get to it. Take care guys. Bye bye.